Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this day you've given us, Lord, thank you for the opportunity we've had to come together, and Lord, to seek the seek your will, Lord, and how to best handle the situations and the things of this county. Lord, I pray for discernment, wisdom for these who have to make the decisions. I pray for your guidance. Lord, I pray for unity in all things. Lord, and I know that you appreciate diversity, but Lord, I also know that you and your words speak highly of the value of you know, one of mine, one accord, one purpose, and one mission. So Lord, I pray for these uh, physical court officers, Lord, that they would have your heart as they seek to serve the people of Ohio County. Lord, in all things, may you be glorified in all that we do. For we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you would, salute and pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Really appreciate it. approve the minutes of the August 8th, uh, 2017 minutes. So move. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second by Sam Small. Uh, any questions, additions, or corrections? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like signs. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, not including the late list, which I will making separate motions here, man. Yeah, motion, motion, motion to approve. So moved. Uh, you're, motion, coming, you're coming with a wait list, Jim? I don't have a wait list. No, there's not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you four items. Oh, okay. We're trying to get away from late, late list, but it's tough, hard to do. Well, that's fine. That's fine. <coughs> Who seconds that? I second. Second to Sam Small. Questions? I've got a question. Keith on here. Uh, the hole that I have for in my district here. Did that include the three little roads I didn't give you know? Yeah. Is it, is it, I think so. Okay. Because okay. before they kind of separated them out by road and, and we just got it all grouped here, so I was just wondering. Okay. <coughs> yeah, just let me know because I want to make sure I'm, I'm done with yeah. See where I'm at on money. I already was saying, man, it's got two roads listed, but it never thinks it's two roads. Are they listed on your spreadsheet? I think possibly. The name's the letter. I don't think it is for me. No, it's just one total. I think it would be all of them. I was just kind of curious. Let me know tomorrow. Okay. If you don't mind. You're finished. To the Bluegrass Museum, we had two bills. They worked Saturday and Sunday, get our roof on, uh, and had two bills one for $3,800 and one for $10,350, all part of the museum money that we've already set aside. Then I have one to Clint McGann uh, for my discretionary money for doing those to work on the trail out to the park. So I move that we approve those. Is that only three? That's four. Two of them total. Oh, okay. Second one. Second by Larry Cannon. In, in each case, alone. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. We're right now because of the low battery. We're skipping down to item number uh, 11. Uh, Trail Town Task Force, 
Tara Ward, and she has a PowerPoint. She's coming up before we run out of uh, power. For the PowerPoint. Thank you, Judge. I think Janie's passing out a couple of handouts, and we may have a few extra if anybody wants to take one home. But a brief introduction. I think all of y'all know me, but I'm Tara Ward. I am here tonight on behalf of the Ohio County Trail Town Task Force. And uh, we're building on the efforts that uh, started with Tread Board. Uh, you believe you want to do it here right here. And uh, I just I want to say right now I'm very encouraged by one of the things that I've been seeing lately on social media. Uh, we were able to, with the county's help, install access for kayaks and canoers down at what we're calling King's Landing, uh, generously donated by the uh, Ellis King family down next to River Bend. Hartford's working on rebuilding its boat ramp park out towards Center Town. So we do have some access points, but the biggest thing that I'm here to do today is I want to build on what's going on here in Rough River, which is right here in Established River running right through our county, and to show you what we can do with just a minimal investment and the huge returns that we can accomplish. And I'm going to do that by actually giving you a living model in another city just up the road in Indiana that has already taken advantage of the infrastructure in their own town, and they've they've made millions of dollars in tourism just because they opened up the river for paddlers. So, Milltown, Indiana is just uh, just over the river north of uh, Brandenburg in Indiana. Population of 800 people. Tiny little town in Harrison County, Indiana. Okay? Somebody had the bright idea to come in, open up a kayak and canoe paddling outfitters, and they've provided access points along the river there on the Blue River in Indiana, and it's made tremendous results. We called them just because we were curious, because I've been up there several times. I know Jason took his family up just a few weeks ago. I'm sure some of you all have been there before. They see 20 to 25,000 people coming and getting on the river there in Milltown every season. Okay? Indiana Tourism Reports says that most paddlers on a day trip are spending almost $150 a day on lodging, on gas, on restaurants, on outfitters, to the point to where Harrison County and Milltown in Indiana they're realizing 2.8 to three and a half million dollars a year off this river. All they did was open it up for paddlers. The thing that's so unique on what they're doing up there in Indiana is that we've already got that set up right here. Right here on the Rough River. It's no different than what they have on the Blue River. And I'm doing a comparison on this slide that you can see right now. They offer a short half mile, two mile trip, which we've already set up with the King's Landing access down here at River Bend going down to the Hartford Boat Dock. Done. They have a half day trip, which is about six to eight miles long. Now we do need to, we need, do need to have an access point somewhere between here north of Hartford, about six to eight miles, river miles out, that would accomplish that. We have a couple options. We're open to talking to landowners, but that would open that up and we could easily put somebody on the river six to eight miles north of Hartford. They have a full day trip. We already have that at Combs Bridge coming down here to Hartford. They offer a two day trip. We could easily have that coming from Combs Bridge down to Hartford and then coming out of Hartford going down towards Knott's Ferry Loop and Centertown. So we already have this set up. All we have to do is take advantage of it and open it up and encourage people to come, and come to Ohio County and get on the river. It won't take very much. And I'll show you why we need this. Number one, I think Charlie will be the first one to tell you, they're all in favor of this. Because right now, if you have an emergency on the river, if you have fishermen on the river, if you have kids swimming on the river, you already got kayakers and canoers out there paddling on the river. If something happens, we can't get to them. We have no way to get emergency personnel up the river unless they put in down here at Hartford Boat Dock. And it can take hours to get all the way upstream in case of an emergency. So number one, access on the river for emergencies. Number two, promoting health and wellness. I know you've heard it talked about for when you're encouraging economic growth in our county. Obviously, we got some health issues in our county. Putting people out there, active daily tourism, active daily uh, treks up and down the river, great for health and wellness. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of somebody telling me that we need more stuff for kids here in Howard County. But that's what this is. It's fun, family-friendly activities that you can do. I, my whole family, I, I don't, several of you know my parents. I got my parents in a canoe on the Blue River. That's a feat in itself, okay? It's fun, family-friendly um, activities. You can put the kids out there. We have toddlers who've gone out there. We've had people go out there with their dogs and their boats. It's great. Mainly thing is the tourism revenue, though. I'm gonna go back to that number I showed you a while ago. Two and a half to three point eight million dollars in revenue from a river that we don't have to build because it's already there. So what do we need? We need safe and accessible access in and out of Rough River. All right. 
We can do that right now, minimal investment with timber steps like we did down here at King's Landing. It's about $5,000 per location. We need a boat ramp somewhere upstream, but we've already made contact with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. They have a program that if they'll accept our application, they'll actually put in a boat dock for us with minimal assistance from the county for rock and general maintenance. So there's a big, huge expense already we have if we get that application for the county's commitment to getting a boat dock up at Combs Bridge. We need signage. We've got to identify access to these points. We've got to be able to tell people how to get there, how to get in and out, where to park so they're not running over farmers' fields. We don't want to mess up the agricultural uh, economy that we have going on in Ohio County. We have to have ongoing maintenance for these access sites. You've got to keep mowing. you got to put some rock down on occasion. But as a general rule, it's outdoors. You know, so long as you have a path, people are happy. And last but not least is river cleanup. Everybody talks about how, oh, you can't get down Rough River, there's too many snags. Once you have access to Rough River and we can get boats and get people out there, it won't take much to cut them up, clean it up, and as you have a general passageway, it'll stay clean. And you'll be amazed at how many people will actually volunteer and come out to try and help clean this up. They do it every year at Rough River Lake, and um, they do it on a lot of other small rivers. Won't be that big of a deal. I'm not saying that all I'm asking you for is what you see on this slide. But what I'm saying is for a minimal investment, you can realize exactly what they're doing up in Milltown, Indiana. We're asking for $15,000 right now from the fiscal court. When we take that $15,000 and we apply it to the grants that we've applied for, we apply it to the, uh, to the access with the boat ramp, the fish and wildlife that we're hoping to, to acquire, we're hoping with $15,000 we can make this happen in Ohio County. Just $15,000. We're helping the road department and we'll help work out with some, some of their equipment. We'll come in to help us actually like they did down here. Uh, off River Bend, they come in with an excavator, help us grade out the bank, put in a little bit of riprap and rock. We, do, we would ask for some assistance on that. But most of all, we're just asking for the fiscal court support. Yes, we need dollars. Yes, we need some road equipment. But primarily, we need you all to be enthused about this project. I'm super excited to see Judge Johnson, his comments in the grad district report. Uh, hyping up and talking about Trail Sound and the access we did down here. We've had, we've shared the Dundee access, or not the Dundee, but we shared the uh, River Bend access point on social media, and it's been shared across the state. We've had multiple people from other states, other counties contact our page. How do we get to your river? How do we paddle? What are the day trips? And right now we have to tell you, wait, because we can't put you on the river anywhere else safely. So that's what we need. We need support from this fiscal court. We need a commitment. We need just a little bit of money. 2.8 to three and a half million dollars annually, and all I'm asking right now is for fifteen thousand dollars. So what I am doing is I'm asking for that commitment from fiscal court. I'm asking you to listen. I think we've had several people show up today in support of this project, and that's really all I've got. So if you got any questions for me? Feel free. If anybody else has any comments, did I miss anything? Yeah, Tara, one thing I had is the is the narrows. If we're just quite pleased we didn't mention that because we need several in between here and there to make narrows an option. Absolutely, yes. Well, we have, um, we've identified the Dundee Narrows Bridge. The problem with that is they say for safety, you want to put people in and out of the river every six to eight miles. And we don't have one that this is. Exactly. Right. You don't like falls. You don't like falls. Way up north county, yes. Yeah, it's northern Ohio County, probably on 54 of the public northeastern north point, I should say. Ideally. they got plenty of parking it's on the other side of the creek which is racing channel. it is and ideally what we can do is open it up all the way up and down the river what we're focusing on right now is trying to get these access points from dundee on down open because the trail town even though we're a county based we're promoting it for the whole county the state recognizes cities and since rough river runs right through hartford we're trying to qualify hartford first because it'll be a stepping stone to getting to the other cities in the county and from Pikes falls to uh Hartford is a long trip. It's a, that's a little bit too long. I'm not ready to do that one. like a snake in yeah. it, according to your back I'm, I'm going in October, and my first is going with me. And I both want the bunny slope of the kayak. <laughs> uh, things that you need to tell us where that's at. All right. Well, again, gentlemen, I'm, I'm happy to take any questions. Um, I realize that you may not be prepared to make a commitment, but if I could, like I said, a minimal investment. That's all we're asking. And the sooner we can get that, the sooner we can move forward and make this a reality. And we need it now so that when the weather breaks come the beginning of the year, we're ready to go. Sure, I'm always skeptical of resulting in 2.8 to 3.5 million, but it doesn't even have to come close to that. And it's still a great idea. I would be happy with a fraction of that at this particular point. It's, yeah, you know. I've spent a lot of money going to Blue River and Frankfurt and everything to kayak, and I think it would be a great idea.
next thing. I'd also like to see this get done so we can get the Green River on. Absolutely, that would be the next project. I think there's actually more access points that we can get quicker on the Green River. It I may be. We talked about some of those, you know, with the fish and wildlife and everything, but. but the, Again, what we're trying to do is qualify under that state program, right. and because of this proximity with Hartford and what we've already established, it makes the most sense to start here and then move over there. And, and more people on the kayak in favor of smaller. Exactly, smaller yeah. The, the bigger traffic. We don't like to compete with the bass boats if we right. can't help it. <laughs> and it's inexpensive too, you know, you can buy a kayak for $300, you know. So. Exactly. It, it is. It's great. It's not going to It's not. It's not gonna break the bank if you want to take your family out for a day trip. Um, I will mention, um, I don't know if it's been officially announced yet, but my understanding is we are getting some money from a grant. Um, it does require a county contribution a matching, but that's where that $15,000 would meet that, and we can move forward ASAP. Well, I'm going to be the first congratulate. I think we have a good thing going, Thank you. and we don't need to let it go. And I ain't putting no pressure on nobody else, but I'll commit the first $2,500. Thank you. Project. Thank you, Mr. Small. Appreciate that. Uh, Sam, you doing that yet? I am. I will. The curve. I'll be there. Yes, uh, they've uh, provided um, several, uh, both labor dollars and money for down here at the uh, river ramp, and also they're putting thousands of dollars down here at the boat ramp to develop that area. If you've been up towards Center Town lately, they're made major, major contributions up there. Yeah, no problem. Mr. Barnes, thank you. We will talk to Jason. He's not bigger than like, we we'll talk to him. Yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll take his commitment right here. I'm sure it's They, they give me, uh, Jason gave me his proxy, so I call him. <laughs> well, uh, I will. Now, there's 10 of it right there. Thank you, Judge. 10 of it's already committed from that third point. And uh, I do have my eye on some other things. Wonderful. That we're going to bring up here to hopefully by the next fiscal court meeting we're going to be able to talk about. In a short shot. success. Thank you very much. So you think you'll be able to get down to Knott's Ferry? Uh, that's our hope. If we can get all these other access points developed, what we'd like to do is get down to Knott's Ferry, and if we can, with uh, the help of uh, landowners in that area, identify a spot between Hartford and there too to make it a little bit safer trip. Because right now it's about 12 to 13 miles yeah, from there. Yeah, me and Trey have looked at some issues there and trying to get, but we had to come up with a solution. Uh, yeah, hopefully, once we see one. You know, that to be able to do that. Uh, no, I think the next will be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. And feel free to encourage the other magistrates who have it. It'll be great. Thank you. I appreciate it. And just for the other kayakers, want to stand up real quick. So you'll say that we did have a support in, in your board. Yes. <laughs> Would any of the fire uh, departments have gotten one? Last week. Well, thank you. I'm several of them, and I think my kayakers bunch of yes, ma'am. We may have somebody that like this <laughs> in the back from the fire department's point of perspective on potential boat ramp need. No, I mean, I'm not going to have to see from the state standpoint of it. I have been out to check on a few little tractors. And he, he did, but even if you have a little tractor ramp like this night, it might be really slick, and you can't access them from the bank of the tractors. Uh, I know the Dundee Fire Department is looking at buying a boat to just go through. So that would be a you know, great help to get the resources there a little quicker. Yes, I have done water rescue out of that river, and it is not easy at all. So, we, you know, we do stand by it, and we appreciate it, too, and we appreciate being like that and talk about it. Okay, we'll be there. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Uh, uh, where are we at? Okay, uh, we're at this path. We're, we're, at the, we're at the clerk standing order. We well, just need a motion to acknowledge yeah. that we got our no, no, approval. No, no, no. So okay. We need to, to uh, uh, amend the standing order for the uh, clerk's uh, uh, salaries to uh, $392,465. And I assume that is in your budget, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, I would I would make that motion. Second. Second to Sam Small. All in favor say aye. 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 That motion carries. And then 
we have the same thing for the sheriff. We need to increase his to uh, $1,257,475. Motion. motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Same reason as CBI rates. Yes. Next, do y'all have your worksheet on the property tax? No, I was going to see if I get one for land. I'll let mine home. You got one there? Uh -huh. Extra. Same rate or four percent. We all but one year since I've been in the office have taken the uh, compensating rate. Uh, however, long term, the county has hurt by doing that. One year makes not much difference, <coughs> but you know that's compounded. So I'm open to a motion. I'd rather just. Uh, uh, well. Uh, I move we just take the compensating rate. Most, I, I realize the decrease, decrease in the revenue that will be coming in, but still, uh, I like to keep the tax as it is. Okay, I second that. Well, Joe beat you to it, Larry. Larry. Motion by Larry Cowan, second by Joe Barnes to take the compensating rate on, uh, we have to do all three of them separate yes. on the real property. Yes. <coughs> Any questions? Problems with that. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed like sign. Motion carries. Okay. Now the personal property. Now what does that include? Yes. The personal property, what does that include? I don't know what's cars and things, but it's well, uh, it's more of a PBA <coughs> question than a clerk question, but it's just for the assessed value of the of the you're talking about the what is personal property? Yeah. Boats? No, yeah, it's your vehicles, your boats, your trailers, your campers. Well, uh, we, got another, we got another thing here that says fit motor vehicles, water cap, water craft. It includes the businesses inventory that they take at the end of the year. Personal. That's what personal property is. Okay, that's personal. Is that okay? I'm sorry. Okay, you want to stay the conversation? Yeah, I would move so on conversation. Second. Motion Larry Cannell. Second to Larry Morphew. He beats you to it this time. Question? Any questions? No, no it, it's very little difference either way. I know. So, it doesn't matter. I was just, I'm only okay. compensating, right? All in favor say aye. Aye, aye, aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. The person that personal taxes are going to be at compensating rate. Uh, uh, motor vehicle and watercraft. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam to take the compensating rate. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Opposed carry. Okay, uh, and you tell us why we need this motion. By the way, on this item number seven, it's, it's, it's misleading. It's the closing only, meaning that we're going to take the deed for it. So what does the motion need to say? It just needs to authorize me to write a check for the property and to pay any fees incurred with it, legal fees, reporting fees. Well, I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? And this was in our line item. To, uh, a co-service money and we're down through that on the list. 
personal safety. Take the fence, Bob. Any questions? I just want to make one point. I've always been opposed to government continuing to get larger and larger, and this is one of the things that contributes to that. So I'll probably be on the no end of that vote. Yeah, I wasn't fond of it when it was on the list to begin with. And you know, we've got less money coming in on other issues and less coal money, and then we just keep drawing the government. So I'm not fond of this. Uh, Why would we have to buy it, David, when we've already got it leased? You know, that was because we took an option on it, and y'all agreed to this in the when we set the money aside for voted for the list, and it was put to the bottom of the list, and we're there. For the for the St. Francis Center, I just feel like there's, and like I said, this was passed a long time ago. But I'm not even sure why we even need the motion now. This is and thanks to Dave. This is 2016's list. Are we gonna get all the? Are we getting all the money there, in? Oh yes. Fifty thousand. Yeah. No, I mean, are we getting all the money for everything that's on the list? Because the next thing is root for this this building. Yes, and there's only twenty thousand on there, and I think it's like seventy something thousand for the group on this building. So there's there's enough money. Have we done got the money or? Well, I have to start the process, but it's ready for me to send in to request the draw. Yeah. As I said, this is something we've been talking about for years, and when we vote the money up, everybody voted for the. So what happens if we, we voted vote this thing? And what happens if we don't? I wasn't in the process of coming up with anything on the list. And we did reorganize the list, but just what you, you voted for it saying that's why it was on the bottom because I had you said I put it on the bottom because you would vote for the list if I did. That's why it was down so long that we had voted a long time ago. Do we have funds and everything in front of it? Yes. I, I guess Judge, the only thing that, that my problem with it is that we just continue to take more things in. Of course, even though somebody gives you something, you still got the upkeep of our utilities and staffing sometime or whatever. That's that's my only complaint about it. We're running the program there, and we rent it to the community for different things. Is there how many people? Actually, I want to on the bottom of the list. May have to ask Brenda how many people. Is Brenda here? Brenda, Brenda. Oh, really? Well, how many people? How many people utilize the yeah. center there at North Branch? As far as lunches or rental yeah, end well, or what? lunches could be part of it, or even the rental end of it, or whatever. Uh, lunches, they have lunches twice a week, probably 15, 15 to 20 people eating lunches. It's rented, what? It varies. We have a renter in the apartment. Hey, no, you she, you know, she lives there all the time. It's rented uh, I don't know. It varies. Yeah. I guess Some months it's rented four yeah. or five weekends. I guess my final question would be and not to relate to issues, okay. but my final question is is Will the Ohio County Fiscal Court, even after it's, even after if the court decides to buy it, will it be subsidized by the court? I'm talking about the money's revenues coming in, expenses going out. Is it break-even situation, or will the court be subsidized? It will be no different than it is. We've been, we've we've done operating for ten years, about it, several years. Officially, we've had a paper on it for for four years now, but we we had a. Uh, uh, Long, long time before that, we've operated. Can we table this for the next meeting? I'd like to get a little information. Can we table? We can, but gentlemen, y'all can do this. I wanted to get it closed because the people of that community want it done. When's the lease run out? The lease? Yeah. The lease uh, is already run out. Yeah, but we got to work to find their way for us to close. Ran I'd like to table it for one more meeting. Is there a timetable and on when it has to be in or anything? I have a question. Yeah, I don't 
I haven't looked at the uh, the option in a little bit, but I think the church would give us the ability to exercise it in two weeks. That, that, that doesn't seem to be a problem at all. I don't believe Brenda is. It's three this time. Oh, when, three is our, when is our appraisal expired? Are we on three days? I, I I'd say appraisal's good for nine. We could come over and I'd say, I'd say that's not the issue. Well, I was talking about on the revenue then, that the, the money's from the state. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't. Doesn't matter. No, that's not the issue. Uh, motion to second. Uh, I guess it's up to. Make a suggestion. I would agree with Larry. They didn't do a little research and information. And but the chief of the district, you was in on the things we did this prioritization. It was that you audited it. Then you've been a first I wanted it, David. I was waiting for putting it on the bottom of the list too. I didn't say I wanted it. I'm, I agree with Larry. You know, you can't keep spending, and spending, and spending. But I would like to have a little time to do some research. If that's so pleased to judge, I'm going to withdraw my second. I will, but I'm remaking the motion the next meeting and we'll have some support for it. Uh, I'm disappointed though because, like I said, this was agreed on last year. It was uh, every one of you got something on that list you wanted. And mine was things that was good for the entire county like this. It's good for the people of the county. Uh, and uh, I'm very disappointed that y'all felt this way about it. But with, it's with them. We don't have the public library. Do you have the tail tax? Okay. 4.0 is a health tax. We're to acknowledge that they gave it to us. We so don't. moved it. No. Motion by Larry Kennedy. Second by Joe Barn. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, who wants to open the bid? We have one bid on the park and maybe the maybe the uh, low department building too, maybe in one envelope. We advertise for both. There's the there's the bid. We just got one bid. One bid. One, one from Lambert's, and I don't know if that both building's in there too, but it's still good. Which one is this for? This 
y'all can look it up too to make sure I'm but I'll go through this it was only two different pieces of paper in there but it was all for the one they always do their labor in concrete differences it's to the panel okay to have motion accept the bid of the Lambert's post frame I'll make a motion second Motion Joe Barnes, second by Larry Moore. Larry Moore. What about the Johnson? Yes. Pam? Yes. Morky? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. I do not know why they didn't bid the road building. I don't think they were in the same manager as the other, so they came up. Did we didn't get any bids on the road building? This is the only one turned in period. <coughs> okay, uh, next is, uh, is uh, Kenny Autry uh, on a brief report on the OC to HUD. So do we need to re-advertise for the building by itself for the road park or the water? Do we need to have a form of a motion? I don't think so. We've already made one to advertise. Let's keep advertising. But we'll have to call some builders or they won't be in them. You have a list uh, left on your desk with uh, office rental prices over at the hub. I'm representing Oceda and uh, Chase is out of town tonight, so we just bring him. He and Sarah Coots, his assistance, uh, person, century rates, and uh, I sat on the meeting last week going over. So, as a Matter of these being uh, put down on record, uh, Anna sure admitted we need to do this, so let's land with. Uh, Just as a set to y'all, Greg. So yeah, what well, we need you to accept uh, the rates that have been set for the office usage at the hub. Any of you had a lot of inquiries? inquiries well, uh, presently there's five rooms rented and there's four prospects. We've rented out for a couple of the conference room a couple of times. So you rented the five rooms you rented out based on these prices? Majority you rented out five rooms based on these prices? Yeah. Oh. Well, well these, I, I, these prices are really reasonable. They're reasonable. We wanted to start them reasonable, and uh, if we have more money than we need to run the place, we're not a uh, profit organization. So, you know, in the future, we fill up and we make more money than we need to operate it, uh, we'll even lower prices lower. I'll make a motion to set if we need a motion to set. I'll second that. I'll second that. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. <coughs> Thank you. Motion carries. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, have y'all seen the, uh, yeah, the resolution uh, to, to do the agreement for Cherie Bridge with the 820 program? Have y'all seen that? Yeah, we're going to do this like we've been doing the, the galvanized ones. Yes. I haven't seen one of those yet. I'm curious to. Uh, oh, you haven't seen them? No, but this was in the street road up in my old district. Well, yeah. they're by East West Town. It looks like it's hanging on the bank. Yeah, is this one bigger than the last one we did? Yes. It looks like it's gone up there. It's bigger. Okay. It's a tad different design. I was surprised that they would allow it then, the size of the business. Well, they have to change it a little bit. Okay, do I have a motion for so three? Moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second for Sam Small. Any questions or comments? This is on the 820. Yes. Look up.
Uh, the next one I have is the uh, park director, which took us a long time to come to this conclusion. It too was done by a uh, panel, a professional panel that went through many applications and came to this conclusion. And uh, we're hiring from within. I put up the name of Bo Wright, uh, salary exempt, 40000 a year. In fact, if you wonder what that is hourly, it's 15 something. He goes from 1533 to this. And uh, so I put up Bo Wright. Second. Can you say? Yeah, his day is, is uh, uh, like uh, Monday. This coming Monday. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. 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 Next, two more items. Next is the animal control officer. Uh, it also went through a, a, a review, uh, a, pre a review process, and uh, and the sheriff's office. Uh, our personnel department, HR, and others were asked to do a review process on this one. Uh, so I put up the name Alex Carr at 1378 an hour, effective 9317. Uh, he is instructed to move in Ohio County within 60 days from the time he begins, and he is instructed, that, or he is advised that he is not required to carry a uh, weapon because he can, he can notify sheriff's office. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Clark? Yes. Two more. Uh, Bob, you come forward. In case there's any questions about this. awfully quick. I'm just getting hired to talk about other people's raises, but that's the way the procedure um, goes. Good evening. I'm here today to ask uh, to bring our Jason Earl and Mike Burgess from their higher pay to the uh, level one. Miranda, if you can elaborate, I think it's 11... 1123. 1123. 1072. 1072. Uh, they've, they've earned their key, and I wish I could do more for them, but it's a start. So I appreciate it. So the first one I'm giving you is Jason Earl from 1072 to 1123 based on going from higher rate to level one. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Then I've got uh, Michael Burgess going same thing from 1072 to 1123. That's from high, higher rate to uh, uh, level one. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Sir. Small? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Now we're ready for commit. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Congratulations. Bob. Thank you. Uh, committee reports. Do we have any road committee met today and talk a little bit about a couple of things? Larry, you want to give us a thing on that? One thing we didn't keep. Keep one of the things we didn't touch upon in the road park meeting was the was the mowers and, and uh, uh, I guess we we'll just take a few minutes to discuss it real quick then uh, what Keith had advised that I concur with we talked earlier about the machines that didn't work out for us but they, they're re-engineering or rebuilding them or making them stouter wherever the weakness part the weakness link was they redesigned and, the frame for uh, we'd like to try them. We're on our second one now. If we can try those, and if they work, then we can not look at the side push offs. But it'll, it'll get a test while we're on our second mowing. And, but, but as I've said before, it don't want to be caught in a situation like we did last year, this year, where we was in August, the middle of August, getting, getting pinched on the mowing. So, uh, and I'm all for that. About trying again, see what happens, see if they hold up, and, and if they do, then. Uh, 
I, I can live with that, but they don't. We need to share some of those and get some sizes. I did go to Brackenridge County and look at theirs, and, and uh, they worked out well for them, the, the side bush hogs have. And really, quite frankly, the, the bush hog that we have on the back, which is necessary to a certain extent, uh, it doesn't do much good in the 4th District. We, we don't have much area to, now probably down where you got wider roads, say like down the 3rd District, that wider road that works out perfect. It was hoping that we had a variety. Yeah, but, you know, unfortunately, testify on this, you know, they use them in the state. They had something that worked well and then they re-engineered them and then they didn't hold up and a lot of it was due to the way the tractor was designed. They had to re-engineer it is what I'm understanding. But so we're gonna try them again. Are they gonna give us the option about side push all the we're not happy? It might come to a fight then. Right now they'll give us the money back and we can put it towards the side mowers or I don't know how they'll deal with us on the second go around. Is it, we might have to fight with them then. Have they got a guarantee on them, Keith, to a certain, uh, for at least the next two or three months while we're yeah, finishing yeah. up the moment? What, what would you suggest, Keith? What would your suggestion be? I don't like to spend money, but if I was, according to the prices of them all, I don't like it, but it would be wiser probably to go to the side push on We're going to try it for a couple of months at yeah. the end of the morning season and see what happens. And then we still have that option to trade in, right? I hope that we do it now. As far as we might have to argue with them to carry on. You know. What was the difference between the two? Uh, I've got it all right here. It was about $29,000 difference per per for both. Of them. Oh, to trade it out? Yeah, and that's counting to trade it in and get the money back out of the switch plate. So it'd be like 14,000 each? No, oh, that's, per. they are 50 something thousand a piece is what they are. 56, 475 each is what they are, I believe. For two of them? No. Is it more than 30,000, $40,000 each? It's different. Oh, I thought it was 29,000. Two, yeah, yeah for the two, we're yeah. counting our trade. Right. Yeah. So that would be still be turned in two, but they don't want to cost fifty six thousand. Yeah. Okay. I hope we don't have to go up around, but at least we we want to at least try what we got. Yeah. Okay. Another committee report. Uh, Joe and I met again with Charlie Shields, and we discussed the. Uh, we're still working on. The, we're going to work our county attorney to death working on this, but uh, we, we're trying to get it right, and we'll report back in three weeks and see what we come up with. Okay. And then we've got the admin come up. Ad admin, admin call admin. me. Who else is? Uh, I know. Uh, Renata's on. Renata's on, and I'm on, and who else is on? Oh, Miranda. Miranda. Okay. So we're going to have Renata. Uh, yeah. Admin code meeting uh, at our next meeting. Four o'clock. That's up there in the minutes. Um, You'll also need a road committee meeting that too, won't you, Jerry? Someone, say? Yes, at 4 30, probably. Might get, might get more business in on the building. Yeah, 4 30, we'll have road committee meeting. And then, um, any other committee reports? Um, I will tell you that the uh, uh, dislocated child panel that I've appointed is meeting regularly and they're making progress on the research. Uh, they're doing research by a, uh, uh, a device called, uh, uh, what's it called? Survey Monkey. That's an internet term. Uh, and, and they're doing, the, they're getting their data that way. They don't have us report the first meeting in December, but they're meeting regularly. Uh, no further uh, committee reports. We'll go to polling the mattress. Sam Small. Yeah, I have a couple things, Judge. Uh, one question for Keith. Did we ever get the children's slow signs? 
Position on a on a issue we had before. We approved to accept felt claim into our road district. It does not meet our specs, but it has already been put into the road district. We just want this to be for sure. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want somebody to come up and say, "Hey, well, y'all took in this road. It didn't meet your specs." Uh, we have specs to take in roads. It must meet these specs for us to take them in. But uh, we believe this was took in about eight years ago, and we needed this on record to make it official. Uh, and I just wanted everybody to be aware that if this had been a, a new issue, I would not have voted for it because it did not meet the specs that we require. And, uh, I'm proud to get felt flame in. I'm really proud that that is a, you know, to get in and help these people because they need it. But I did want to verify and, and be straight on why I voted for it with it not meeting our specs. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Joe. No, I have nothing. Larry. No. Larry. No, I just want to compliment on the, uh, what is it, McClure. They've done a great job on that guardrail. A great job. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Justin, you got anything? No, thank you, Justin. Uh, anybody from the general audience got anything for the good of the body? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm here on behalf of the uh, Hawaii County Youth Soccer Program, and we're here to ask for some money. I think maybe it's been discussed a little bit with you, and I just want to know if there's any chance of us getting a little bit of help. Uh, with a popcorn machine, an air conditioner, and a few things that we need. We'd like to improve the program, and uh, we need some help. Jason and I are both uh, contributing something from our discretionary money. Do you remember how much it was? Uh, Jason says they made No, they didn't. Yeah. Soccer. Yeah, I think that's right. 300. I committed to yeah. We just want to make sure that we're going to get some help. I mean, we're under the impression we are. Uh, yeah, program I think. Needs, uh, program needs. Sam did too. Yeah. Sam, did you, Joe? Yeah. Sam, I mean, I Joe, <laughs> myself, and be on the next Jason. Okay. All committed right. for discretionary money, three hundred apiece. Okay. If you want to PO that in, and we'll vote on having no bills to claim that way next time. What we should look at, even we would like to even fertilize and seed. Later on, so I mean, you know, we might ask for some more money. Are you talking about the top fields up there? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So that's yeah. yeah. Twelve hundred total is what you get. Okay. Okay. And that's going to be enough to get us going for the year. Okay. We just we need a little help. That's all it is. And I, last summer we had three hundred kids. Okay. We had a big group of children, and I think we'll have more. Great job. Yeah, we're proud of you. I like soccer because all the kids get. Okay. Fun. Thank. Thank you. We appreciate the money. Uh, they meet the stage out at Cromwell Ballpark uh, August 22nd. They're having a concert. You get that, Bob? I'm sorry. The stage needs yes. to be up here uh, August uh, right, right, right away this weekend. I got a phone number. You can call that lady. I've already got all the keys. We're going to take care of that Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't need this number. Yeah, you get this phone number, so you know who to call on set of that. Anybody else got anything for good advice? If not, uh, this means adjourned. I'll see some of you in Louisville.